Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to review the Neora B6 Heartbound Planner. Uh, I have written to Neora a number of times to make a B6 size because A5 size was just slightly bigger and the A6 size was slightly smaller. So the B6 size acted as a perfect in between and uh, lo hold and behold they actually released uh, the B6 planner and I'm super happy about it. So before doing a very very detailed flip through, I have already uploaded a very short um, video when I'm unboxing this particular planner but I will unbox this again uh, because obviously this uh, two things right their story uh, and a thank you card uh, is something that uh, every Neura package has but I want to uh, specifically uh, take you through this accomplished planner book. This is essentially a user guide on how to use this planner and I had never uh, really gone through this because I knew exactly how I want to use the planner but this time around I actually spent some time with this and it is brilliant. It has such good ideas how to split the pages, what should you write where, how will you divide your monthly, weekly layouts, all of that. It's such good tips and I absolutely, absolutely appreciate this. Um, I didn't as much the last time around uh, but this page definitely took uh, a lot of um, my attention on how do you split the layout so however you want to because this book has daily pages so this shows you how uh, every page is marked and uh, the middle the center divided by three divided by four and how you can use these various layouts brilliant I must say that if you do go for the Neura planners I would highly recommend uh, spend about 15 minutes on this uh, particular user guide and you'll not regret it so without further ado let's get into uh, the accomplish uh, b6 planner just for reference this planner is as small or rather as big as my hand this is such a beautiful size uh, it fits perfectly well in my everyday office bag i carry um, my lunch i carry uh, my laptop as well as uh, a planner so for me having a comfortable small and lighter planner works really well currently i use the a5 planner let me just get it so this is uh, my current a5 planner so i thought on days uh, that i want my bag to be lighter i will not use this external cover but unfortunately i like the feeling of a hardbound book i had to use this organizer and in in the end this was becoming bulky and in comparison to this, this is much, much lighter, though this is a really chunky book. But at the same time, this is uh, heavier. And uh, if I could just take this out, it was not very comfortable. I'll be very frank. Just using this book was comfortable. Having said that, I always thought that it didn't look luxe enough or the feeling of um, luxness didn't come. I think with a clear cover or something on that lines, this would look better. But as you could see... Uh, the gold foiling and all that obviously i've used this for an entire year pretty much 365 days a year i do expect this much wear and tear to happen uh, but i wanted something which is more sturdy and that is the reason i went for the hardbound and um, yeah i don't have any complaints with this uh, you could see that i have used extensive stickers all through the book and nothing nothing has come off uh, again after approximately entire year you could see i've used the book extensively but nothing has come off absolutely in pristine condition so i love the quality that neora gives just for the size reference uh, the b6 book is slightly thinner and slightly smaller to an a5 size so uh, works about perfectly for me uh, let's see what's there inside so just to start with there are three ribbon bookmarks one is in uh, their standard uh, orange color, then you have a black one and the third ribbon bookmark generally is um, comparable to the cover that you've chosen. Again, as I said, this will be my work planner. So I have chosen something which is darker, which is uh, very, very work appropriate. So I wouldn't want to go for black because last year I was using black. So I wanted some other color. That is the reason. I chose uh, the brown one in darker shades or rather I would say professional shades uh, I think the blue one 
uh, the brown one the green one and the black one would work and obviously in the lighter shades you can go for a beige or a teal all of that also would work but i wanted a darker shade so i went for brown because i have not used brown i have used teal before i have used black and uh, green is my um uh, cover so that is the reason i chose the brown cover first time that you open the book you will have uh, the first page as this book belongs to and important dates and all of that uh, the second page is a uh, vision board now before i go i will just want to give you a quick comparison of the changes of yellow the shade of yellow is very different from last year to this year this is a much much lighter version of yellow even the lines are slightly lighter than this year that is just the change i saw i don't uh, see or believe there is a change uh, but one change that i definitely notice is when you uh, flip your book uh, the gray is lighter and so is the orange because i'm used to going to the page that i'm at currently by flipping flipping just like this so this is exactly my last page and i could just easily find it uh, because of this color coding as soon as you use the page the color uh, gets lighter so you could just flip to the darker page and you will be exactly at the page that um, is been used currently so that was a good grid line for me i'm not sure with this lighter shades how will that go but having said that um just the difference i don't know how will that pan out the first thing that you have here is a year at glance and this is so beautiful here you can write n number of things i would also write like subscriptions or your car service your ac service or anything of that sort here uh, i would also write one main main goal so there are a, a, a three line grid here uh, for every month i would write one main goal or something that i achieved or something that i want to remember from the month i can also track my mood here or for example i want to track my uh, workouts here so i can say write rest day arms legs uh, core etc i can actually write that and i will have uh, a substantial um, amount of data for uh, the entire year for me to compare uh, i'm not sure what i want to do for, with this at this point I love my urine pixel so I can really rate my mood for that day uh, but I'm not sure this is too big of a size uh, for to do urine pixels I could track four habits also here so there are four grids like this so I can track four habits uh, that is also a possibility um, I'm not sure at this point I would like to just be in the planner for a few days and then figure things out uh, so that is uh, my plan The next up uh, that we have here is the monthly layout. You have the last month and the next month here, and then uh, some empty grids. Uh, one thing to note uh, is that it is a five-week uh, month. So if you have a six-week month, the month will go on the top. Uh, I will show you if that uh, arrives. So this is just simple goals, things to do, and a health tracker. So just as a comparison, I think this is a huge change uh, from last year. last year and the years before that i remember the newer planner was monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday so it was a vertical planner a vertical dates and not horizontal uh, dates but this time it's monday tuesday wednesday thursday i'll show you i have my last year's planner uh, right here so this is my month of october i did not use my month of october so as you can see here it's monday tuesday wednesday so all the mondays were here tuesdays were here so on and so forth so my weekends generally stacked right here and which was really useful because i could decorate at this point uh, whereas here the weekends are right here um, which is again uh, not good not bad i will get a better things to do but having said that now neora has a, a standard protocol because all the planners that i have used till date it's always like this and never like this and only neora was a vertical uh, days kind of a planner now they've just standardized it as per every other planner so i'm not i'm not very happy or sad about it i can just adjust to it um where um, in the last uh, years my decorations used to be here whereas now my decorations will be here uh one more thing that i think uh, is different this year is the grid for sunday is slightly slimmer than grids for all other days uh, it may be a design choice 
बट अगेन सिंस दिस इज माई वर्क प्लानर आई डो नॉट राइट एनी थिंग ऑन द वीकेंड्स सो दिस वर्क फॉर मी आई ऑल्सो इंटेंड टू डू अ लिटल बिट ऑफ गोल्स प्लानिंग हेयर फॉर मंथ सो आई दर दिस कुड बी माई वीकली गोल्स और दिस कुड बी द हाईलाइट ऑफ द वीक और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो माई संडे कॉलम कुड बी वेरी वेल जस्ट द डेकोरेशन एंड माई सैटरडे आई कुड यूज फॉर सम काइंड ऑफ गोल्स और सम काइंड ऑफ हाईलाइट्स और एनी थिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट बिकॉज नाउ फॉर दिस वीक आई नो दिस इज माई गोल और फॉर दिस वीक दिस इज माई हाईलाइट सो आई वॉज थिंकिंग ऑन दैट लाइन्स एंड ऑब्वियसली इट वुड हैव लास्ट मंथ्स कैलेंडर नेक्स्ट मंथ्स कैलेंडर देन लेट सी आई वॉन्ट टू सी द स्टैक्ट वीक्स वेर some day some month there is a six week month see this is what i was saying if there are six weeks in a month your month will start on this grid and also end on this grid this is again a general practice um so i don't i don't mind that i think that's it then you have all the months just stacked up like that uh, and one more thing i just wanted to point out if the stacked weeks really bother you for the month for the year of 2024 only september and december have six weeks so not too much really shouldn't bother you um once the monthly is over we have weekly pages i absolutely love this i absolutely adore this kind of uh, layout because this helps you have the entire week if you want to time block this is a good way to time block if you want to write all your things to do and if you want to transfer a few things to the next day it's just easy if you follow these foreign youtubers uh, who have hobonichi or sterling inc or something like that uh, each planner will cost you 3 to 5000 rupees and that planners have exactly this format and i'm so happy somebody in india is doing this at such an affordable price and with various sizes if you need a6 a6 is there if you need a5 a5 is there if you need b6 b6 is there so an absolutely um, the format as well as uh, the kind of costs that they are giving in uh, i'm sure uh, hobonichis and things like that use a different kind of paper but if you see the differences they are uh, not hard bound they are also uh, a lot of japanese there and things like that because i have considered having hobonichi uh, as one of my planners but uh, the costs uh the fact that there is a lot of japanese written in the book and etc have always uh, taken a back seat for me and uh, that is the reason i think neora planners are brilliant at the price that they are giving you uh, at so here you will have all your weeklies and uh, sorry i forgot to mention the weeklies would have a uh, one large a uh, column which you can put up to do's anything anything that you feel like then you have a, a top layer Uh, which will possibly be your one thing to do that day or two things to do that day uh, key things to do and then you have dates from say 4 am to 3 am uh, the entire 24 hours and then are uh, it's just very lightly written uh, but you can override this uh, or not override this i would never time block because i have a calendar a definite digital calendar that i use so my time blocking generally works there Uh, even if i want a focus work i generally block my digital calendar uh, with focus work time so i'm very diligent with that calendar so i will definitely not time block here uh, only days that i really time block are the days that are really really busy and i need that time blocking sheet right in front of me if you've seen my older videos uh, i have an aliexpress uh, time blocking sheet which i use regularly I generally don't use it very often because the digital calendar works uh, but I would say once in 6 months is when I use that sticky note uh, diligently uh, what my idea is to have uh, the top priority or top two priorities to be here and then other key things to do and then at the end all the meetings that I have for that day that is how uh, I would like to use this and uh, I have used uh, this kind of vertical uh, planner uh, in my custom planner uh, and I have used that a number of times so I know exactly how to use this vertical planner and this is how it works for me so after the weeklies uh, you will have all the weeklies and then is when your 1st of January will start um this is great and this is 
uh, on the top there is priority affirmations accomplished and grateful for so these two things you need to fill in early in the morning and these two things you need to fill in um, at the end of the day i generally don't care for these grids uh, neither do i care for priorities affirmations etc i would write whatever comes in my mind um, and i would rather put like a washi tape or just don't care that this exists and just create the page however i want and so these uh, one day a page planners sometimes work sometimes don't work for me uh, so what i have decided is that this would be my meeting notes so how i intend to uh, generally take uh, this entire um, exercise forward is my black ribbon will always be on my daily page so any meeting notes from that day will come there my brown ribbon would be on um, the weekly page and this would be the page that will be open on my desk at all time and finally the brightest ribbon would be on my monthly page this is how i intend to carry my planner with three page marks and i think this would work brilliantly so if i have to write notes from a meeting i will have to come here Uh, so on first for example if i have had a meeting i know i have to refer to exactly the first date here and i will get all the references uh, from that meeting so that is the intention now uh, from this uh, the last pages that you have are standard neura pages uh, obviously you have a habit tracker and this is a monthly habit tracker so you have all the 12 months here and then you have an expense tracker I generally don't use this expense tracker but I use this uh, for a detailed project planning uh, I'm going to show you this project planning uh, method that I have uh, but I'm going to blur out things but you would understand these are sticky notes and I use these sticky notes to move around whenever uh, one stage to another so I absolutely love this uh, I'm currently using and I would I think you would like to know I'm currently using this sticky note set from the house of edai edi i have no clue i bought this on amazon and i have already finished one entire stack of sticky notes like these smaller sticky notes and only these larger and this sticky note is still available in that stack uh, and i am on the next uh, sticky note stack so i absolutely adore this and in my planner this just lives like this here and whenever i need them they are just here and within this as well I have finished up this particular sticky note completely. So I am a heavy sticky note user. So I'm thinking of using this also as a project planner. So I'll just uh, block out this via washi tape and probably name each of these grids uh, with something. So this would be my project planner, and uh, this is all the months uh, from January to December, all the months right here for your expense. And then you have a uh, passion. This could be anything. Uh, these are just passion pages. You can have your passwords. You can have um, books to read, movies to see, anything that you want to write here. And then at the end, you have year in review. And uh, that's it. That's it. That is how uh, the book completes. And then you have a nice back pocket. Let me see if my sticky note fits. I think it will fit. it makes my book really chunky but i can actually stick the sticky note just right here uh, which was the intention um, when i bought this so i can just pick up this entire stack of sticky notes and then probably glue it here and then i will have these sticky notes with me so uh, either that or i will put in uh, a smaller sticky note stack right here so that is the review of uh, neora accomplish b6 uh, hardbound planner um let me know if you have any questions uh, i'm going to set this up very soon um so i will obviously upload a setup video so that is it uh, from me please do let me know what kind of planners are you using this year that is all from me thank you for watching uh, if you've come so far watching the video i'm so 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 grateful for you have a nice day bye now